Good morning, friends. It's so good to be with you here today. It has been a quite a long time since I have gotten to tape for you, and I have missed doing it very much. Well, I have a few things to share with you before I read this week's scripture lesson and give you my message. One thing I want to do is tell you that I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas and are looking forward to a happy, happy new year. Happy new year. It is the season of new beginnings. And our scripture verse will have a little bit to do with that today for sure. The other thing I wanted to share with you is about our Advent posters. I want to tell everyone, thank you. Thank you if you were able to come out and help us color those posters. They have come out beautiful. And I can't wait to share them with you and the entire congregation. Starting next week, we'll be posting one at a time all the way through the year, the season of Epiphany. You know that word, Epiphany. Well, you're going to learn a lot about that with Miss Poppy and Miss Nancy today in Sunday school in just a little while. But I'll give you a hint. It is about when the Magi find baby Jesus and present him with gifts. Yes. Well, there's a season called Epiphany. And like I said, we'll be displaying our posters in worship throughout that season. Do you remember each week? the word on each poster, well, I'll share them with you. Hope, peace, love, joy, and then we have a special surprise. There's one last word, a very important word, and that one, that poster says, Emmanuel. Do you know what Emmanuel means? Maybe you do, but I'll tell you, it means God with us. Yes, the Christ baby has been born, and this was God's gift to the world. God in Jesus Christ is among us, and that is a very special, special gift. Well, without further ado, I'm going to read you the scripture that Pastor Groom selected today. And it is from the Gospel of John, starting right at the beginning. Yes, at the beginning. 1 John chapter 1. Excuse me, John chapter 1. Listen for the word of the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and the life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not extinguish the light. A man named John was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him everyone would believe in the light. He himself wasn't the light, but his mission was to testify concerning the light. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the world. The light was in the world, and the world came into being through the light. But the world did not recognize the light. The light came to his own people, and his own people didn't welcome him. But those who did welcome him, those who believed in his name, he authorized to become God's children, born not from blood, nor for human desire or passion, but born from God. The word became flesh and made his home among us. We have seen his glory. Glory like that of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified about him, crying out, This is the one whom I said, He who comes after me is greater than me, 
because he existed before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. As the law was given through Moses, so grace and truth came into being through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. God, the only Son, who is at the Father's side, has made God known. This is Emmanuel, Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, this is a very special reading, my friends. And I want to talk to you about a very special part of it. Towards the end, did you hear how God at one time was thought of as the God of the chosen people, the Jewish people? Well, through Jesus Christ, we have been all grafted in, all adopted by God. That means that no one, no one, regardless of their faith, regardless of their skin color, whether they're boys or girls, whether they have stripes or polka dots, no one, no one is not a child of God. We are all adopted in. And that is such a beautiful thing. And today, I just want to share a little story about myself. You see, I was adopted. I was adopted by a man who was not my blood. He took me into his life and made me his own. His name is David, and he was my adopted dad. And he loved me just as if I was born of his blood. And I have another story to share. That's one form of adoption. Another form is when I married my husband, Steve. His dad and his mom adopted me into their family and treated me just like family, just like one of their own sons. Steve's dad's name, we called him Papa, and we call his mom G-Mom, and they are like, a dad and a mom to me. Then I have another example of a type of adoption. And this one happened, well, right before my eyes. You know, it's one of those things. A long time ago, my parents, my adopted dad and mom were divorced. And my mom met a special man and his name is Richard. He comes to worship sometimes with my mom. Richard has adopted me into his family and treats me just like a daughter. Now, the really interesting thing about Richard is Richard's a, of the Jewish faith, and he has taught me so much about the faith of Jesus. You know, Jesus was Jewish, and he taught me so much about that. And that is a very special kind of adoption. Now, adoption can come in all shapes, all kinds. And I want you to talk about adoption with your parents today. Maybe they have a story to share to you about someone they know who was adopted, or maybe they themselves have been adopted in one of the unique ways I've described. Have that conversation. Ask them about that. The point is, my friends, the way we are adopted by other people. Doesn't matter what skin color they, we are or what faith we have. What matters is love and acceptance. And that is what Jesus, God in Jesus brought to us. Love and acceptance of all people so that we might be the light that shines in the darkness, that we might spread the word that came to us in Christ Jesus, that we might, through Jesus Christ, spread hope, peace, love, joy. Oh, yes. Emmanuel, God is with us, my friends.
God is with us. And that, that is the beginning of Christmas and the end of Christmas. Just like Jesus, he is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Let us pray. Oh, good and gracious God, good morning and thank you, Emmanuel, God with us through the birth of your son, Jesus Christ, so that we may bring hope through you, bring peace through you, bring love through you, bring joy through you to all in the world. May we be mindful that all people are accepted by you, adopted. In Jesus Christ we pray, amen, amen. See you later in worship, I hope. And if not before then, have a wonderful, wonderful day and Happy New Year.